Hello everyone, in this video I will show you the structural modeling of ladder uh, using two half headers in the case of VHDL. So before I start the programming, uh, to just look at uh, the structure of full ladder using two half headers, you are having two half headers to implement a full ladder. You have three inputs A, B and C in and two outputs that is sum as well as carry. The output from the first half header will go as an input to the next and the carry which is generated from both the half headers are ORed and the final carry out is obtained. So let us write the programming uh, in the case of VHDL where your top level block will be the full ladder, this block outer block and you need to create two sub blocks that is for two half headers and even OR gate that is the third one and all other components inside this half headers become leaf cells so that is what is a top down design methodology we follow. So let's start programming uh, the full adder using two half headers in the case of structural modeling using Xilinx tool. So again the same procedure, we'll go for file, new project. In new project, I'll give a name as full adder. Then next, next, I'll go for new source. In this, I'll create a VHDL module. I'll give the name as FA, that is full adder. Go for next, here port name, as you can see that for your full ladder, the inputs are A, B, C, in and output is sum and carry. I'll give the name here A, B, C as inputs, then sum and carry as output. So I'll declare A, B, C as in, sum as out and carry as also out. Then I'll go for next, finish, then next, finish. So the moment I click on finish, all the declaration part will be automatically available in the entity, entity, entity name is. The syntax and the basic explanation I have already given in one of the video. So again over here entity, entity name, all the declaration is done over here. Next it starts with architecture, architecture name of entity name is. Entity name I have given over here as FA so I have to use the same name is. Then since we are doing structural modeling. I have to create two components for half adder that is what is the implementation of full adder using half adder circuits. So I have to create component for half adder and a component for OR gate. I need to create only one component of half adder because both are performing the same operation and for both the inputs are only two operands. Again over here next it is OR gate again it is two inputs so totally I need to create two components so let's start creating a component when we are doing structural modeling. So I will create a component by using a keyword called as component then HA. I will give a name, component name. After that I have to declare the inputs. For a half header we have two inputs and two outputs. So port inside the bracket I have to give the arguments I1 and I2. I will write it as in standard underscore logic semicolon and I am having two outputs, I will declare it as O1 and O2 as out standard underscore logic then bracket close semicolon then after that you have to end the component by giving a component name end component so semicolon after that next you need to create one more component for OR gate so I have created a component OR1 I cannot give it as OR because OR is a logical operator, bitwise logical operator in the case of VHDL. So component R1 over here for a OR gate here two inputs and you have one output as you can see in this diagram. So again the same thing I have to create a component R1 port I will give as I1, I2 as in standard underscore logic semicolon and O as out standard underscore logic and again end component. After that, if you are seeing, we will get back to the diagram wherein we can see that we have internal wires which are already available. One is S1 that is the output sum of the first half adder. Next we have the carry out from the first half adder C1 and carry out from the second half adder that is C2. So I have to declare it as signal. In the case of very log it is wire. So I will give it as a signal. 
I'll name it as S1, then C1, comma C2, and I have to declare the data type of all the three variables. I'll give it as standard underscore logic semicolon. After that, it is begin of architecture. All the component declaration, signal declaration has to be done before the begin of architecture. Next, it is begin. I have to give a label x1. Then I have to call the half adder over here. So the first half adder, I'll call it or by I'll map it by using port map, port map. And inside the bracket, I have to pass the arguments. Let us come back to the diagram over here, wherein we can see that for the first half adder, the input is A, B, output is S1 and the carry one C1. So I'll write over here A comma B as inputs. So the same A, B and the output is S1 comma C1 bracket close semicolon. Again, I have to write X2 colon again a label. Again, I have to write HA because I have to call a second half adder. Then port map. Inside the bracket, I have to pass now the parameters. What are the parameters we have to pass now? For the second half adder, the input is the output from the sum, uh, the output from the first half adder, that is the sum of the first half adder will be the input to the second half adder and C in, which we have already declared as an input, that will be the second input for the second half adder. So I have to declare one input as S1 and another input as directly it is C in or this C what I have already declared. The output from this is nothing but the final sum what we are going to get. We can see this in diagram that is a final sum and carry out from the second half adder is C2. So over here the final sum that is a output I have declared and declare it as sum comma and the carry out from this is nothing but the C2 I will declare and semicolon. Next. I have to perform the OR operation between the carries of the two half adders. So I have declared the component called as OR1. So OR1 port map and inside the bracket I have to give the parameters again for OR the parameters are C1, C2, the final carry is carry then bracket close semicolon end behavioral that is nothing but end architecture name. So the architecture name whatever is written that will be ended after that semicolon. So the moment I save this, three instances of half adder as well as or is created. Since half adder is performing the same operation the same way as we follow in Verilog, for half adder we need to write a program for any one instance. After that we need to write one more program for or. So let us start again for where after clicking at HA, I will right click on this new source, then it is VHDL module. Then I have to give the same name as I have declared over here. So I'll give it as HA. Then next, I'll give the name. Since there are two inputs, two outputs, I'll give the same name. I1 and I2 are inputs. O1 and O2 are the outputs. So I'll declare it as out for O1 and O2. Next, finish. So now I have to write the program for a half adder. As we know that, for a half adder, sum is equal to a x or b and carry is nothing but a and b. Over here, I can see that i1 and i2 are the inputs. So your sum will be equal to i1 x or i2 and carry will be equal to i1 and with i2. So I have to write with in the architecture over here. I can follow any kind of modeling over here. So let's start. I o1 is a sum. Let me consider o1 as a sum. O1 is equal to, this is assignment operator, in the case of VHDL lesser than or equal to O1 is equal to I1 XOR with I2 and O2 is nothing but the second output or the carry for a half adder that is nothing but I1 and with I2. So this is the program for the half adder. I will save this. So the moment I save this, the same program is reflected in the second half adder also. So no need to write one more half adder program for the second instance. Next for the third one that is R1, I need to write the program new source. In the new source, it is VHDL module. I have to write R1 since I have declared the component name as R1. Then next, it is having two inputs I1, I2 and O as an output. So I have to declare it as out. Next, finish. 
after this begin it has to perform the or operation so begin o is equal to i1 or with i2 semicolon and architecture name so save so now let us go to the main program that is fa then let us check for the syntax if there is any error so implement design under that synthesize under that check syntax we will check if any errors are present if there are any errors it will be present over here so there is no error process check syntax completed successfully now let us view the rtl schematic by clicking on view rtl schematic So now you can see that the top level block has A, B, C as input, sum and carry as an output. So this is your complete full ladder. Now let us double click on this. Now as I have already told you can see the two instances of half adder over here. The first half adder has A and B as inputs. The sum of the first is going as input to the second and C as one more input to the second half adder. The final output is sum. The carry from these two will be going as input to the OR gate the final output is carry so that is what is RTL schematic so that is how you verify now let us check the functionality of the circuit by checking using test bench I'll go for behavioral simulation for full adder right click again new source in the new source I am having something called as test bench waveform I have to give a name I can give any I'll give it as TB test bench which will be saved with an extension .tbw next after that there are three instant uh, programs fa full adder program half adder and or1 you are giving a test bench for the main top level block or the main program that is for full adder next finish you will get a pop up window since it is combinational i'll click on this give for finish now you have to give all the combinations for your full adder as the inputs are ABC, give uh, will give all the eight combinations. So first it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, then it is 3, 1, 0, 0 is 4, 1, 0, 1 is 5, then it is 1, 1, 0 is 6, and 1, 1, 1 is 7. Save it. Once it is saved, I will close this. Then I'll click on TB, then simulate behavioral model. So let us verify whether the results are proper. So we can view the waveform now by using a marker. I can check. So till here, if you are seeing A, B, C are 0, 0, 0, sum is 0, carry is 0. When I move the marker over here, A, B, C is 0, 0, 1, sum is 1, carry is 0. Yes, it is correct. For 0, 1, 0, that is 2, the sum is 1, carry is 0. 0, 1, 1, sum is 0, carry is 1, yes. 1, 0, 0, correct. 1, 0, 1, sum is 0, again carry is 1. 1, 1, 0, sum is 0, carry is 1, last it is 1, 1, 1 sum is 1, carry is 1. So this is how you write the program for full adder using two half adders using structural modeling in the case of VHDL using Xilinx. Thanks for watching my video. If you like the video, please refer to your friends, click on like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.